Hey guys, Roxbox90 here with another video on how to build your EDH deck. This one we're going to talk about an introduction to playstyle. So this is kind of a prelude to picking your general because, in my opinion, colors and playstyle usually have a greater impact on your deck, overall deck decisions and direction, rather than the general you end up choosing for the spot. Because if you go about choosing your general first as the crux of the deck, you often have trouble. You can't switch it out for a different general because you built the deck around that one. You rely on your general too much. So basically, play styles is simply how do you want to play? How do you want to win? What's your overall long-term plans for how your deck is going to play out? So I'm going to kind of talk about some of the more popular styles that you can choose from. That will hopefully in the end may help you choose your general that you want to play with. And I'll also I'll mention maybe some of the strengths and weaknesses of each archetype. In this video, we're going to focus on the three overarching archetypes, which is aggro, control, and combo. So aggro is basically aggro decks. You put out a lot of threats really fast. You keep up the danger the entire game. Your opponent's constantly on edge, constantly being beaten down, prevents combo decks from ever setting up, you try to prevent a control deck from ever getting enough base to counter off all your spells. Hopefully you waste all their counters on early stuff and you continue to pound them. And that's its real strength, is that it keeps every deck on edge and you're always on threat of overwhelming the other player. The problem with this strategy though is that in order to stack your deck with enough threats that your opponent's constantly under pressure, you're not going to have as many answers to problems that arise. So often, if let's say someone manages to pull off a combo or manages to pull out, pull out a certain creature that nullifies or spell that nullifies your strategy, then you're left with the lack of being able to really deal with it. So that's kind of the weakness of aggro, but it's a very fun way to play. It's just some random generals that run aggro. Rafik of the Many is very aggro heavy. Uh, Brian Stoutarm, Thraximandar, Stonebrow, Kali of the Vast, Mimeoplasm, these are all just popular uh, aggro strategies. And of course, I'm showing here Omnath, who's classic for aggro, beat down. Then you have Control, which Control decks focus on controlling the early game, preventing, like playing counter spells and preventing everyone from, preventing control de uh, combo decks from setting up their early pieces and prevent aggro decks from overwhelming them. And hopefully at the end, you as the deck continues to hold off everybody, it controls what threats it allows out. And then eventually you start putting down some heavy removal, disrupt people's hands. And in the end, hopefully you are able to beat them with either, either a combo or you can run out um, creatures at the end or spells to end the game. So blue, of course, is in most control decks. Black is excellent for disrupting, so those are very classic control colors you'll see it run. Some commanders are Grand Arbiter Augustine, who I don't recommend, but you can use him. Skitherix the Blight Dragon is a classic infect, that's kind of why I picked him out. Uh, Tesa, uh, Dralnu, these are all just ones I'm thinking off the top of my head, and these are ones you can run for control. Weakness of control is that you need to have a lot of spells, so... Oftentimes the same sort of problem aggro has, but in reverse, aggro has too many threats, not as many res responses. Control has too many responses, not enough threat. It's usually the, the problem they, they share. Combo is kind of in the middle. The focus of combo is to hold everybody off until you assemble your strategy that you use to either instantly win the game or win the game very fast. So you have to you use a lot of tutor cards to get the combo pieces you need. You get a lot, you have you run some counter spells, some disruption, but mostly you're trying to just hold off long enough to get the pieces you need to win. Um, the biggest weakness of combo, uh, ironically in EDH, aggro can be a problem because in EDH, if you build towards dealing with aggro, you leave yourself open to control. And if you build too much towards control, you leave yourself open to aggro because combo run has problems from both ends of the spectrum, which make combo decks usually the most difficult to run, particularly in multiplayer. But that challenge of balance is fascinating for a lot of people. So it's definitely something you can consider if you want to be more on your feet in terms of how to handle your deck. Some generals that pop up that you can think about. Sharum, who we mentioned in the Mr. Lubufu commentary on, ban on the band list. We mentioned Sharum. 
uh, can be irritating in control decks, combo and combo decks, but she's a good one. Niv Mizet, who I'll talk about in the general video. Kiki Jiki, who I pulled out here. He's infamous for com uh, combo decks. Azami, Una, just throwing some out. So those are the three archetypes. Well, ne the next videos we'll talk about subtypes that kind of go under these and the ma major archetypes to consider. And we'll talk about in the next videos, we'll talk about the sub themes of how you can orient your deck. Of course, there's always overlap because every EDH deck will have some, will never, almost never be purely any one of these three. There'll be some overlap between them here or there. But those are just the, the general ideas. So hope you like watching. Feel free to subscribe up top for more MTG content. You can see the previous videos in the playlist. See the next video hopefully will be coming up soon, which will be the, probably the aggro sub themes. And then this side will be previous videos. So thanks for watching guys, and feel free to comment below and PM me with any questions. See you next time.